Hi, I'm Daphine. Welcome back to my channel. Here I'm just showing you what materials you'll need for this craft project. I've got paints, pots, a pot, a paintbrush, and a bowl of water. Before you begin, you do want to make sure to prep your pot. I am washing my pot and giving it a little bit of a scrub to make sure there's no dirt. You can then let it dry for 24 hours and then give it a sand so it's smooth. Here are the paints I'll be using, various forms of orange and white and black. Obviously, I'm going for something a little bit more spooky for Halloween. I'm adding my first layer, just going with a regular basic orange and just making sure that the paint is not too thin and not too thick. You can control the thickness of the paint by using some water, which I have in a nearby bowl, and just making sure that the paint goes all the way around very smoothly and evenly. So now I'm going back in with a little more of my basic orange and just making sure that it stays moist. I am going for an ombre effect, a darker orange to a lighter orange. So I'm just putting more of my regular orange on just so I can blend my darker orange with it. So I'm putting kind of like a half layer of the regular orange and then going back over with a darker orange and you'll see where I blend the two colors together with a different brush. So now I've got my smaller brush and I'm just making sure that the darker orange and regular orange are blended well together. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to make sure there's a little bit of a transition. So I have dampened my smaller brush a little bit. I'm just going back and blending the two oranges together with my small brush. So this part is fun. What I'm doing now is I've set my pot on top of a small paint bottle. That way I have a little bit of height. And then I'm just going around with a toothbrush that I've dipped a little bit in water and a little bit in white paint. And I'm just kind of adding a splatter effect, a very subtle splatter effect to my pot with white paint. So I'm just taking my thumb and flicking the white paint against the pot and slowly rotating it to make sure the splatter goes all the way around. So now it's time to give them a little personality. I'm starting with the eyes, just using a small brush with black paint to give them some sight. And the eyes are gonna be sort of a triangular shape, kind of like a pumpkin. So you'll see me adding those details now. His little face is taking shape. I also added a mouth. You can see it's kind of like a semicircle. And now what I'm doing, and this is after I let the first part of the face dry, I'm going back with my white paint and just adding a little detail just to give it a little bit more personality. I'm just adding these kind of white little marks here. And he's all done, a cute little pumpkin man. All I would recommend after this is spraying him with a little bit of gloss, that way you can preserve the paint. But other than that, he's all done and really cute. Please like this video if you liked it. Comment with any questions or any thoughts below. Subscribe to my channel for more and happy Halloween.